In this tutorial, you are going to be learning how to use Python data types, and we are going to know what Python data types is all about, as it is very important for you as a back backend developer. So we are going to be looking at some of the different types of data type. So we have basically number one, which is text type. And under text type, you have strings, right? Then under numeric types, so we have different types of data types. So we have text type. Then under text type, we have what we refer to as str, which is known to be strings. So any time you are dealing with a data set that has to do with uh, text, that particular data type is referred to as strings. Next is numeric types. So under numeric types, we have integer, we have float, we have complex, then we have complex. And the next thing is sequence type. So under sequence types, sequence types, we have what we refer to as list, topo, and range. Then we have the mapping type, which is dictionary. So when you want to create like database for um, your program, you are going to be needing mapping type, um, which is dictionary. And in Python, you represent it to be represented as uh, in Python is being represented as dict. dict. So this is how you represent it in Python. So basically, this is quite interesting as there are other types. So we also have the Boolean type. Boolean type. So under Boolean type, you refer to it as old. So next we are going to look at is the example for each of these data types, right? So we are going to be looking at the example for each of these data types and how you can be able to declare variable with data types. So quickly, I'm just going to erase this guys. So you can be able to see how to work with Python data type. So first one is x equals to three. So this is referred to as integer. Then when you now see y equals to five, right? So you see this is referred to as load. Then when you see z equals to, uh, sorry, I need to read it flow, 5.5. So any number with decimal point is referred to as flow. Then when you see a number is either 7j, so a number with together with a liter is referred to as a complex number, okay? So anytime you want to verify the type of any objects, that's the type of data which you are working with, you can use the type function. So what is the type function? So let me just quickly explain what the type function looks like. So when you want to create, you want to check what kind of data type you are using, you make use of this. So this is being referred to as what? As type function. So when you want to check what kind of data you are using, you can come here and say type, for instance, x. So type x. 
So you can just run this program and see the type of program that you are working with. So you can just, uh, you come here and say tree, for instance, type X. So this is going to be in bracket open and close. Then you run your program. So you can see that the class here is integer. And then if I change it to Y, if I change this to Y, um, the type will become, and then you run it. So it's become float, right? And then if I change it to Z, for instance, Z equals to 7J. So then I come here and run it. So it's going to become complex. But I'm sure this is very, very explanatory to you. And you can be able to understand uh, what data type simply is all about. Um, next thing we are going to look at is Python casting. So what next we are going to be looking at is Python casting, right? So what is Python casting? So casting is therefore done using constructor frames. And then you can see that uh, Python casting is uh, it's a process where you convert from integer to float and from float to integer and integer to a string. So you see that Python float, uh, Python casting is the process of converting from uh, is a process of converting from one data type, other type to another. Okay, so with this um, setting that you have been able to understand what data types is and then how you can be able to work with them. So here now, I'm going to quickly uh, come here um, I'm going to give you an example of a Python casting, for instance. So here, I will see, for instance, um, since x is equals to 3, I can now come here and say m is equals to, for instance, I'll now say integer, and then I'll say 3.5, for instance, right? 3.5. Then I'll come here now and then I'll say print for instance m, right? Then once I run my code, I'm going to have three. And remember, I said that an integer is a single number, while a float is a number with decimal point. Now, a number, this number is decimal point, but because I put an integer in front of this, a uh, particular value, which after I've created the variable, um, by the time I printed it, you are having three as the output, which makes it to be a Python casting. Then if I want to cast from float to integer, or yeah, from integer to float, and then I can come here and say u equals to float, right? So I can come here and say float, um, bracket open and close, then I'll say four for instance. So if I come and say print, if I come and say print you, you are going to have um, an output. So when you come here and check the output, you see that the output is 4.0. Thank you and see you in the next.